everyone. Today I would like to talk about fatty liver disease or fatty liver. Um, here I have two pictures. One is healthy liver and one is fatty liver. Healthy liver you can see it has less than 5% of the fat and fatty liver you can see there's more than 5% or there's a lot of fatty deposits in there. So that is what I just wanted to point it out. What happens when there is fatty liver disease? Fatty liver disease is a kind of a fat liver is inflamed or liver has got like a um, like a scar tissue. So after a longer time it can cause liver cirrhosis too. So and one good thing is liver is the only organ which regrows or we can reverse the condition. So that is why I'm just, I want to talk about it. Uh, what causes the fatty liver disease, especially non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? The, this can be caused by increased consumption of uh, carbohydrates, sugars, and there's a gut health problem. So the fatty liver main cause, especially nowadays, what we are seeing is like uh, increased uh, refined sugars. So um, why it is like that? What causes and why it is happening like that? So when there is a lot of carbohydrates in our body, what it does is it converts to sugar, then it converts to fat, it then stored it in the liver. And what happens is the liver doesn't respond to that. So when the liver doesn't respond to the conversion, it, it, it is saying that it's called insulin resistance and it can be stored in different parts of your body, especially in your belly fat area. A person who has a huge belly, we could really con uh, confirm or we could really say that that person can have, may have a fatty liver disease. And what are the signs, signs and symptoms? As I said, the first number one is belly fat. Even before it is showing up in any scan or any kind of uh, reports or any blood work, it can be shown in your belly area. And second one is like second is blood test or an MRI scan or a CT scan show that if the liver is so inflamed, that is a liver disease. And what helps in reducing the, uh, like the condition? So the first thing is definitely, reduce the amount of sugar and the refined carbs. Second, intermittent fasting. As I've been saying, intermittent fasting helps in reducing the uh, amount of, like, you know, clean up your amount of conversion of fat into glycogen. So the glycogen storage in the liver is being cleaned up by intermittent fasting. And third one is endurance exercise. Endurance exercise training, especially low intensity and high intensity exercises will reduce the um, like fatty liver disease and there are certain supplements which help one supplement is choline a second supplement is collagen choline and collagen is in eggs as well as beef liver so it is a good source of um, good proteins and good uh, fat too so try that one and other one is apple cider vinegar apple cider will, vinegar will help in, in in cleaning up the liver too first one is milk thistle milk thistle will act as a cleanser Third one is a supplement called omega-3 fatty acid. So these three things which have been helped in reducing the progression of uh, fatty liver. So these are the things I would like to focus today. Uh, fatty liver, fatty liver disease and what causes it and uh, wh what we can do. So mainly I would say intermittent fasting helps and uh, the supplements also helps. Thank you.